Hello everyone, I'm Dan Philgreen, and this is Shell Point Today for Tuesday, February 24th. On today's show, we'll head out to the Aquatic Center to hear about a great class offered there, and we'll have a photo review of a recent outing to the Marie Selby Gardens. But first, we want to remind you that tonight is the night for the Paradise Coastman Barbershop Chorus. This exciting group has been around for more than 40 years in the Naples Fort Myers area, singing a cappella in a barbershop four-part harmony style. These entertainers perform everything from Broadway truths to gospel and more. The show begins at 7.15 in the church auditorium. Shell Point's official Lost and Found is at the Resident Activity Center. We've been told that the pile of items there has grown pretty large and it really needs to be cleared out. If you think you might have left something behind somewhere on the property or if something is just lost, now is the time to stop by the rack and check to see if your item is there. Any items in the Lost and Found that are not claimed by this Friday, February 27th, will be donated to the thrift store. Tomorrow, there will be an important seminar presented by the Legacy Foundation on the identity theft epidemic. Hear real-life stories of investment and banking fraud encountered during the past several months. This presentation will include common avenues fraudsters use to steal your money, information, credit, and other personal information. Finally, the guest speaker panel will address strategies that Finemark National Bank and Trust has implemented that you can also use to help protect yourself in this ever-increasing technological world. This presentation will be led by Finemark's Dennis Landfried, Vice President, Anna Smith, Managing Executive, Reed Sawzen, Private Wealth Advisor, and Jason Manuel, Vice President of Information Technology. This 45-minute presentation will be followed by Q&A. Light refreshments will be served. The seminar is free. However, seating is limited and reservations are required. To reserve your seat, please contact either service desk. That's tomorrow from 10 to 11 in the Grand Cypress Room. So, Finemark wants to help you keep your financial life healthy, and our fitness team wants to help keep your body healthy. And there's no better way to stay fit than to exercise in the water. Now, the air has been a bit cool lately, but the water at the Aquatic Center stays heated to a comfortable temperature all the time. Fitness instructor Craig Norling can help you get the most out of your pool time with his Aqua Agility and Conditioning class. I'm Mary Franklin with The Health Connection here today with our fitness coordinator, Craig Norling, and we're here to promote an upcoming brand new class here at the new LifeQuest Aquatic Center. Craig, you're going to be teaching an interesting class. Yes. It's going to be Aqua Agility and Conditioning. Mm -hmm. You're going to offer it three sessions, right? A, B, and C. All right. And for dates and times, you want to check your Health Connection booklet because we're offering this in three different series. And an interesting thing about this class, it's a small class. True. Why are you only letting six people in at a time? So I can focus on just those six people so we can work on uh, what this class is designed for as far as agility and conditioning. And so we're going to take time to, for those six people to work on that mm -hmm. as long as their flexibility and the range of motion. Right. So it, it's, it's like a group personal training. Mm -hmm. Instead of one-on-one, -on -one, it's a little bit more people, which will be fun. Yes. Now when they come every session, you're doing a group of 12 sessions. Mm -hmm. Do, is every time going to be exactly the same? Oh no. No. It'll be different every time. Okay. We'll do some of the same stuff every time, but uh, every time will be different. Okay. You want to really work on their specialized needs yes. and, and get them going. Will you, what parts of the pool will you be using? I get really all of them. Okay. All of them. We might do a little deep water. We might use some of the therapy pool. We might even use the lap lane right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now in Melody, or Melanie Broad's class for agility, she does a lot of footwork. Mm -hmm. How are you going to translate that into the pool? Well, we're going to do a lot of full body work. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use their entire body and moving them for a lot of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's really that, that real focus group, a lot of attention by Craig. And you want that from him so he can push you to your limit, but not too far. He's just going to make you just get to that uncomfortable zone, right? Just enough, yeah. Right, and make you push it. And so this will be a great class if you want to get into the water and push it a little bit more than what you traditionally have. Um, Craig will be your, be your guy to do that. I'm Mary Franklin along with Craig. Make it a happy and healthy day. An Academy on the Go class recently took a trip up to Sarasota to enjoy the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens. This magical place maintains a collection of more than 20,000 greenhouse plants, 
plus thousands more in the outdoor gardens. Palm Acres resident George Waters brought his camera along and brought back these beautiful images for us.
And now let's take a look at today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Hello and welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Caitlin Vanskoy and I'm here with Bev Chanley and we're going to let you know all the activities that are happening at Shell Point today. We're going to start bright and early with Bend, Breathe, and Balance at 7.15. That's a Health Connections class and that'll be in the Health Club. Pickleball will be played at the Pickleball Courts at 8 a.m. Also 8 a.m. is the time for Round Robin Doubles Tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. Come out for the stamp ministry at 8.15. Volunteers are always welcome to join them in the stamp room that's down in the island tunnel. At 8.30, the Ladies Golf Association will be meeting at the Shell Point Golf Club. 9 a.m. is the time for bocce. That'll be at the Woodlands Bocce Courts. Come out for open painting in the art studio down in the island tunnel at 9.15. 9.30 is the time for a match play mixed doubles tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. The Women's Ministries Bible Study will be meeting at 9.30 in the Hospitality Room of the Village Church. And at 10 a.m., the Suzy Q will be headed out to Woody's Waterfront Restaurant for lunch, and you do need to sign up for that. From 10 to 12 today, the Photo Gallery and Studio will be open for viewing. That's down in the Island Tunnel. At 10.15, we have a Health Connections class, Hollywood Hair. That's in the Social Center, and sign-up is required for that. We have Through the Bible, Bible Study Group meeting at 1015. That's in the Osprey Room. And we finish the morning off at 1145 with a Health Connections class, Living Healthy. That's in the Osprey Room. Here's Bev for our afternoon lineup. Thank you, Caitlin. At 1230 today, we're going to have Mixed Progressive Bridge in the Game Room of the Woodlands. 115, we have the Knitters Group in the Osprey Room. The Shuffleboard Players will be down at the Shuffleboard Courts on the Island at 115. The Rollicking Recorderess will be down in the Tarpon Room at 115. And our last 115 activity is the Women's Ministries Prayer Group. They'll be in the Hospitality Room at the Village Church. We'll move on to a Health Connections class at 130 with Aqua Pilates Stretch being held in the LifeQuest Aquatic Center. At 130, the Stamp Ministry will be at the Sable Room at the Woodlands. From 2 to 4 o'clock, we have the Photo Gallery and Studio open for tours. The library book talk will be in the social center at 2.15. At 2.45, we have another health connections class. This is balance and mobility training level two. That's in the health club and is currently full. The celebration ringers rehearsal will be at 3.15. That's in the choir room of the village church. At 4.15, we have a health connections class, Tai Chi Cha. That'll be down in the health club. That's currently full. And we round out the evening at 7.15 with the Paradise Coastman Barbershop Chorus. That'll be at the Village Church. Well, we're glad you joined us here today, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Kolath with your Academy Information for Tuesday. At 9.30, writing your memoirs on the computer continues in the Computer Center at the Woodlands. At 10 o'clock, the History of the Middle East to Present Times, the fourth and final session, in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands for those who have signed up. At 10 o'clock, Sit and Stitch Workshop continues in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. At 10.15, Talking is a New Typing will begin in the Manatee Room of the Island. Please sign up at either service desk. At 1 o'clock, Light Room for Beginners will take place in the Photo Studio on the Island for those who have signed up. Also at 1 o'clock, Talking is a New Typing will continue in the Oak Room of the Woodlands. At 1.15, Mail Merge will take place in the Technology Teaching Center on the island. Sign up is required. At 1.15, Math and Society continues in the Manatee Room on the island. And at 4.30, the Alpha Course continues in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. I'd like to tell you about our new classes coming up tomorrow. Travel the World Virtually with Larry Brock of Eagles Preserve and Legacy Seminar number 2, The Identity Theft Epidemic. We also have Open Studio class with Sandy Ehlers of Eagles Preserve. This is the week for the Auxiliary Orientation. If you're an Auxiliary Volunteer completing your annual requirement, we thank you. If you would like to consider joining our Auxiliary, please see the back page of this and every weekly reminder for information on how to sign up for orientation. This time, Friday, February 27th. Please give me a call if you'd like more information on opportunities to serve. There are always opportunities to join the Auxiliary. 
Menus for Tuesday, February 24th. In the Crystal Room, the platter is pulled beef with scalloped potato and mixed grilled veggies. For dinner, it's build your own stir fry for $13.95. The soup is cream of mushroom. In the Island Cafe on Tuesday, for lunch, it's a California bacon burger with avocado cream cheese and chips for $7.25. For dinner, it's Hawaiian chicken with jasmine rice and grilled veggies for $8.25. The Palm Grill has pork schnitzel for $13.95 and scallops and pasta for $16.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at shellpoint.net. Hi, welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm Andy Hawkins, the senior pastor of the Village Church, and I'm here with Dr. John Stumbo. John is the president of the Christian and Missionary Alliance. That's the denomination with which the Village Church is associated and also the denomination that owns uh, the Shell Point Retirement Community. So, John, welcome. It's good to have you with us. And we're here to talk actually uh, about what, what sort of feeds you. I mean, you're the president of, a, of an organization, more than an organization, a body of believers in Jesus uh, who have a lot of things in common. Uh, but to have a role like that, just to have any kind of pastoral role, you're a, you're a pastor over a lot of people, uh, and any kind of a pastoral role, we, I think the hardest part for, for us as pastors is to keep ourselves fed. Because if we're not fed, uh, we have nothing to give uh, those who are our uh, parishioners. And so what feeds your soul these days? What are, what are some of the things that uh, drive you? Uh, and what kinds of things are you reading that have been especially valuable to you? Uh, we'd love to hear that. Well, thank you for acknowledging, Pastor Andy, that the soul of the leader is essential and that we are the ones who are responsible for mm. the care of our own souls. I used to think when I was a pastor, if I take care of God's church, God's church will take care of me. That was a bad formula <laughs> because, because I was putting my own soul care onto the responsibility of others. And, and oh, yes, there's other things that people can do for me. They're encouraging, they pray for me. They, but, but when the day is done, we're responsible for the condition of our own soul, whether we're a, a layperson, pastor, or president of a nomination, whoever we are. So, and we so. see it, by the way, uh, the, the, in, in pastors can very easily dry up because they uh, they give, give and out, and give. they give and give and give, and uh, and and it's easy to get uh, preoccupied with all the events in a schedule. Uh, we end up uh, waking up after a year or two uh, wondering, you know, where are we? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why do I feel so shriveled? That's right. Uh, and, Pastor, can I just say to you that every time I meet you, it seems like you're fresh and alive. And so you must be doing something as well to, to nourish your own soul. But I commend whatever you're doing to continue on. You're absolutely right about uh, needing to do it ourselves uh, and be, be responsible for it. So tell us, what, what, uh, what feeds you these days? Well, so... Spending time in the Word is, is essential for me, and to do so in a manner that allows for some reflection. I cannot say I do this every day, <laughs> but, but when I get past the surface reading of a passage and try to begin to listen to what the Spirit of God is saying to me in that passage, um, and to, to place myself in the story or uh, in that historical situation or the poetry that's being written, as the scripture is full of so many varieties of text. Uh, but, but as I try to listen, um, I feel that the Spirit of God uses the Word of God to minister to the people of God. Absolutely. And, and so one current example would be uh, in the last months, Isaiah 40, which is a very familiar passage, verse 31, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I've quoted that verse, known that verse for decades, but, but uh, just one passing comment in a, in a book, and I didn't even like the book that much, but <laughs> one passing comment in a book that just said that that word wait means to twist or turn. Well, I thought, now that's interesting because there's a kind of waiting that, that creates strength, according to that verse. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. There's a strength-giving kind of waiting, but some of the waiting that I've done through the years didn't exactly increase my strength. You know, the kind of waiting of a 
a bored teenager, you know, waiting for this uh, thing to get done. Well, that doesn't increase strength or the kind of waiting of a husband pacing back and forth, waiting for his wife to get ready for this event that we're late to, you know, and that kind of waiting doesn't I'm not, I'm not touching that one with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> or, or the kind of waiting in a, in a, in a hospital lobby. Mm -hmm where a friend or a spouse is in surgery and, and the person in the lobby is waiting but with great anxiety, you know, oh. and, and blood pressure up. That kind of waiting doesn't increase strength. Those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. There's a kind of waiting that strength renewing and the kind of waiting that that Hebrew word refers to, to twist or turn like, like the turning of a head, the craning of a neck, with expectancy to see where is the answer coming from. The Lord is coming to this situation. The Lord will enter this situation, or he's already here. And I, but, but I just haven't been able to see his presence yet. Where is the Lord at work in this situation? Expectant waiting, that kind of waiting renews our strength. Mm. Well, I've got a few unanswered prayers, or, you know, in the terms of I don't know what God's doing yet. Right in my life and prayer journal. But Join the club. Yes, exactly, we all do. But when you have a spirit of what's God going to do next, that kind of waiting renews our strength. Hmm, that's fascinating. Uh, and that's the kind of thing that I think uh, it's not just that uh, a person in your position would, would uh, profit from or even a person in my position. No, uh, all believers in Jesus would, I think, uh, would relish uh, that kind of experience uh, in a devotional kind of context in which we spend time uh, in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of His Word, uh, in that, with that kind of reflection. And uh, we get insights like that, don't we? Yeah. yeah, fascinating. Well, I appreciate your sharing that with us because I, I'm, I'm gratified to know that the soul of my president <laughs> is uh, being nourished on a daily basis. And uh, that's something that I certainly uh, need to do and want to do and, and do as much as, much as I'm able to do. And I trust that uh, all of you will experience that same kind of joy that comes when the Lord meets you where you are as you spend time in the Word. And so we're delighted that, uh, that John has been here with us today and ask that you'll uh, hopefully see you soon here at the Village Church and on one of the opportunities that we have to cross paths here on the Shell Point campus. Blessings to each and every one of you. We'll see you soon. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow when we'll hear from audiologist Jack Adams. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Tuesday, February 24th. I'm Dan Philgreen, and from all of us at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.